Let's say we're trying to graph the inequality y is greater than or equal to negative 1, and we're also asked to give the interval notation. We start by drawing a number line with a whole bunch of numbers on it, including negative 1. Now we need to think which numbers for y would be greater than or equal to negative 1. Well, hopefully you understand that there will be numbers to the right of negative 1. Because it is greater than or equal to negative 1, we include negative 1 in the interval as well. We include or we indicate inclusion by using square brackets instead of parentheses. Another way of showing the same is using a solid instead of a hollow dot. So if you use a filled in circle, that indicates that the number negative 1 is included in the solution to this inequality. As we showed in the previous example, you can also draw both of these exactly on the number line itself. However, for the sake of clarity, we prefer these two approaches. Now to confirm that we've drawn our arrow going in the right direction, we can choose a test point. So let's say we choose 0. If we were to plug 0 into y is greater than or equal to negative 1, it's quite simple. We would just get 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. And that is a true statement. That means that the arrow should start at negative 1 and go towards 0, which is to say it should go to the right, so we've done this problem correctly. Had we chosen a point on the other side, say negative 2, well, negative 2 is greater than or, neg greater than or equal to negative 1 would be a false statement, which means that the arrow should go in the other direction, which further confirms that we've done this problem correctly. For interval notation, remember that you always start from left to right. So we start at negative 1, but the difference between this and the previous problem is that here we are including negative 1. So we would start with a bracket around negative 1, comma, infinity.